this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a mini album that I created using the Graphic 45 World's Fair paper collection. I did use the 12 by 12 papers as well as the 6 by 6. So it is a chipboard cover, chipboard spine, and chipboard back. And I do have a tutorial already on my YouTube channel that shows how to create this page style. Uh, the mini album measures 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. On the front cover, I used the papers and went ahead and layered them on top of the front cover here. I added a little metal piece from Butterbee Scraps. I fussy cut the hot air balloons from one of the 12 by 12 pages. I die cut a little doily here and placed it here, and I layered some of the imagery on top. Again, I left this open under here so I could tuck the two little tags that I fussy cut from the paper collection as well. They could just go right in here. I inked around all the edges with Vintage Photo which I don't normally use, um, but I thought it went well with this paper collection. And then again, I popped this up as well. And this is the spine. Again, I did a bunch of fussy cutting. This paper is fabulous. And then I fussy cut this down here. And then this is the back. So you open it up. And on the inside front cover, I do have it perfectly flat. <laughs> so I didn't add a lot. I used one of the 4x6 ephemera cards to add here to the front cover. So I just left it kind of simple right here. There's three page units on this particular project. And on the first page, I added one of the little chipboard tags right here that I did back with some uh, design paper as well from the 6x6. And then this is another chipboard piece. <clears throat> this is one of the 3x4 kind of parts. And then here is a photo mat right here. I left them with um, 6x6 papers on one side, and then I left them plain on the back. And this is craft cardstock from Basil. And then there's another pocket here. So then this section flips up, and you can place a photo right here, a 4x6 photo, with just a little tiny bit of trimming. And I left this open so this photo can slide underneath. I left this open as well, and I stuck one of the cute little postage stamps with a hot air balloon on it. Um, I added another chipboard piece here as well. I made a little tag here using my sta uh, Stampin' Up! Scallop Tag Topper Punch, and this is one of the postage stamps from the front cover piece, and I layered on some more of the design paper. And there is another photo mat here, and I fussy cut one of the flowers and added it right here, and then there is a larger photo mat in the back here. I did use my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chopper, the ticket stub, around each of the corners, and again, these are plain on the back. So then you flip the page over, and on the back side, again, it's the same element. I layered this on with some dimensional foam tape. I have a 3 by 4 journaling card, and one of the small cutouts from the paper collection. A photo mat here, which is 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, so you can put a 3 by 4 photo in there. And then another one here as well. And this Again, this paper is from the 6 by 6 So this piece flips up and you can put a large photo here and then I have a pocket here with a chipboard element. Again, another uh, border strip from the paper collection. I used a scallop border punch across, no I didn't, I used the apron lace fiskers punch across the top here. Another photo mat here. And then at the end of this pocket is a larger photo mat right here. And this one does have design paper on both sides because both sides shows through. I used my envelope punch board to create the little notch there. So on the next page, again, I have another 3x4 cut apart, a chipboard element, a little journal spat spot right there, a 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter photo mat, and a larger photo mat here. Put that one in so I can in <clears throat> flip it up, and I love, again, the balloon paper. This was all I had left of this. Um, I did fussy cut a lot of the balloons out because I thought they were just darling. So I added a fussy cut, one of the balloons right here. Again, another chipboard piece, and this is also open, so you could stick another little um, ticket stub or something in there as well. Again, I have another little photo mat. I added this cute little cut apart that I fussy cut from the paper right there. And another larger photo mat here. So this page is created using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And again, I have a video 
on my channel already on how to make this page. So you flip it over and on the back side again another 3 by 4 journal spot. Another little piece that I popped up with some dimensional foam tape. I had to fussy cut these cute little guys out right here and set that right in there. And again another photo mat here. I just love the colors in this collection. It's just bright and happy and just fabulous. So this flips up. Again, the balloon paper right here, <clears throat> another border strip, and another photo mat here, and a larger photo mat at the end. And on the last page, again, another chipboard element. Love the little Ferris wheel, 3 by 4 cut apart, and another little piece of ephemera that I fussy cut out. Another photo mat here, and new photo mat here. And you flip it up. Again, you can put a photo here. Again, I left this open and I added the cute little Eiffel Tower stamp. A little chipboard piece right there. Another photo mat, and again, I fussy cut the ticket there and added that on the inside and another photo mat here. So we flip it over and again I have another chipboard piece, another 3x4 card, and I did leave this chipboard element open if you wanted to stick some little tags or tickets in there. And a cute little stamp with hot air balloon on it. And another photo mat. And another photo mat here. And you flip it up, there's a place for a photo here as well. Another chipboard element, another photo mat here, and another photo mat at the end. On the back inside cover, I used another one of the 4x6 cards that I cut out from the design paper, and I uh, took my craft knife and just glued it down around the four sides, and then took my craft knife and made some little pockets here along the journaling lines. And I used my Stampin' Up! Tag Punch to create these three little tags here. And then I used my Tag Topper Punch to create these here. And I just added some of the cutouts on the top. So there you go everybody. That's my little mini album that I created using the Graphic 45 World's Fair Paper Collection. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye!